The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the transcriptome-wide binding sites of RNA binding proteins, or RBPs. This is accomplished by first using photoreactive nucleoside analogs for in vivo labeling of nascent transcripts. The second step of the procedure is to crosslink RNA and RNA binding proteins by 365 nanometer UV light. The third step of the procedure is to immunoprecipitate the investigated RNA binding protein and to recover the crosslinked RNA. The final step of the procedure is to convert the RNA into a cDNA library and deep sequence it. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show transcriptome-wide binding sites of the RBPs and enable the definition of the RNA recognition element and its binding preferences. Hi, my name is Markus Hafner uh, from the uh, lab of Tom Tuschel at the Rockefeller University in New York. Today we'll be showing a method called ParkLab, or photoactivatable ribonucleoside analog enhanced uh, crosslinking and immunoprecipitation. We use this procedure in our lab to identify on a transcriptome by its scale binding sites of RNA binding proteins and their binding motifs and preferences. Okay, so let's get started. In vivo UV crosslinking begins in a laminar flow hood. In this protocol, we will use tagged IGF2 BP1 cells as an exemplary model. Using sterile technique, expand HEK293 cells stably expressing flag HA tagged IGF2 BP1 under control of a TET repressor in HEK293 cell culture medium. Use between 100 and 400 times 10 to the 6th cells and grow them to approximately 80% confluency. At 14 hours before...